We all know SpaceX has grown into a giant, bigger than every competitor in the launch industry. But recently, the company achieved something so unexpected that even Elon Musk himself did not see it coming. And honestly, this breakthrough could change the entire future of spaceflight. Before we get into those details, make sure to subscribe for more updates like this. When Musk founded SpaceX in 2002, almost no one took him seriously. To many in the aerospace world, he was just another tech millionaire trying to play with rockets. The idea that a small startup could compete with government agencies and powerful defense contractors sounded ridiculous. Space travel was expensive, risky, and controlled by only a few major players. Starting a rocket company from scratch seemed like financial suicide. But Musk went ahead anyway. His mission was simple, but extremely ambitious. Make spaceflight affordable and eventually send humans to Mars. In the early days, SpaceX had very little. Their first rocket, Falcon 1, was small and experimental, and things went badly. Between 2006 and 2008, Falcon 1 suffered three consecutive launch failures. Each failure cost tens of millions of dollars. Investors were losing confidence. Musk was using his own fortune just to keep the company alive. By 2008, SpaceX was only weeks from bankruptcy. One more failure would have destroyed the company completely. Then something incredible happened. On the fourth attempt, Falcon 1 successfully reached orbit. That one moment saved SpaceX. And immediately after that success, NASA awarded them a critical contract to resupply the International Space Station. Without that one launch and that one contract, SpaceX would not exist today. With survival secured, the company shifted its focus from staying alive to transforming the industry. SpaceX developed a larger rocket, Falcon 9, and a cargo spacecraft called Dragon. While traditional aerospace companies relied on slow government funding and outdated manufacturing methods, SpaceX built most things in-house and moved fast. In 2012, SpaceX stunned the world when the Dragon spacecraft became the first privately built vehicle to dock with the International Space Station. It was a historic moment. Spaceflight was no longer exclusive to governments. A new commercial era had begun. But the biggest revolution was still ahead. SpaceX believed that rockets should not be thrown away after one flight. Until then, every rocket was used once and discarded, making launches extremely expensive. SpaceX began pursuing vertical rocket landings and reusability. The early years were filled with explosions, crashes and failed attempts. But in 2015, it finally worked. A Falcon 9 booster returned from space and landed upright. It was something that looked impossible just a few years earlier. Soon after, SpaceX began reflying the same boosters over and over. Launch prices fell dramatically. As the company became cheaper and more reliable, customers rushed in. SpaceX quickly became the most active rocket company on Earth, launching more missions than entire nations. Then came another massive leap, Starlink. 
SpaceX didn't just want to launch rockets. They wanted to build a global internet network using thousands of satellites in low Earth orbit. Many experts doubted this would ever work. But SpaceX had a major advantage. They owned the world's cheapest and most frequent launch system. They could put satellites in orbit far more efficiently than any competitor. And slowly, Starlink grew from a risky idea into a huge business. By the mid-2020s, millions of people around the world were using Starlink. For the first time ever, a rocket company had a steady income stream that didn't depend on government contracts. This financial stability made SpaceX even stronger. At the same time, they began building their most ambitious rocket, yet Starship, a fully reusable super-heavy launch system designed for massive payloads and future Mars missions. Starship is larger than the legendary Saturn V. Its early prototype tests were dramatic, many ended in explosions, but each failure provided valuable data. The goal remained the same. Create a rocket that can be reused repeatedly at extremely low cost. Meanwhile, Musk's other companies were facing challenges. Tesla's growth slowed. Twitter, now called X, struggled with advertisers. Neuralink faced regulatory hurdles. The boring company stayed small. But SpaceX, SpaceX was different. Musk owns about 42% of the company, and with voting shares, he maintains full control. That means SpaceX does not answer to public shareholders and can take massive risks that other companies cannot. This freedom allows SpaceX to innovate faster than any competitor. Now, after more than 20 years of relentless progress, the company is approaching a historic milestone. Reports suggest SpaceX is preparing a share sale that may value the company at up to $800 billion. If that happens, SpaceX would become the most valuable private company in United States history, surpassing many long-standing giants without ever going public. And this valuation isn't based on hype. It's based on results. A few years ago, no one believed a private rocket company could launch dozens of missions every year. Today, that pace is normal for SpaceX. In 2023, they completed 96 missions. In 2024, they reached around 134 launches, a new world record, and in 2025, they're already on track to match or even surpass that number again. Nothing like this has ever happened in the history of spaceflight. The secret behind these achievements is reusability. Falcon 9 boosters return to Earth after separating from the upper stage. They land either on ground pads or autonomous drone ships floating in the ocean. What once looked like science fiction is now, honestly, routine. SpaceX has landed and reused boosters hundreds of times. More than 95% of their missions now fly on reused first stages. Some boosters have flown over 20 times and actually a few have even passed 30 flights. No rocket in history has ever achieved this level of reuse. And because of this, 
Falcon 9 launches cost far less than competitors. A typical launch costs around 60 to 70 million dollars, while older rockets often cost over 100 million, and some heavy rockets reach 200 million per mission. Since SpaceX isn't throwing away its boosters, the company saves billions of dollars in hardware over time. And because of these savings, they dominate the global launch market. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.